It's me again. We're gonna have a ball today. I'm in Fairlawn, New Jersey at Wani's Grill. And Carlos and Natalie are making an amazing meal for us. Some of it is Peruvian and some of it is Mexican, but the dessert is gonna be great. Watch what we eat. You make, you make your own chips? Yes. And the guac, is there something special in the guac? Um, just the way my husband, the chef, made it, it's with secret ingredients. He made it. Homemade chips, homemade guac. So things that are aggressive, oh. spicy food, oh, man. and noisy. That really is good. So here's mm. a category of food that fits in there. So we were Round one. Like my mother's steak. Wonderful. <laughs> How was that? No, no, no. I want to drink this. <laughs> this is Peruvian ceviche. It has codfish, shrimp, it has corn, it has a sweet potato, and it has me going in. Wonderful. Mm. Absolute best. Mm. Right. We have these empanadas. We have cheese, beef, and chicken. I got the cheese one. It's like a cookie. Oh. And the chimichurri and, the, and the, another type of hot sauce. That hot sauce is made with cheese. Fabulous. It has mm -hmm. Vegan fries and then the Mmm. Mm. Yes, I didn't I get do. a beef one yet. Okay. Now, what is this? The cheese one? Or beef here? Oh, I missed that. Oh, water for here. Good combination. Andina salad. It's from Peru, okay? It have a corn from Peru, it have a cheese, an olive from Peru, and the bicolor quinoa, which is the white and red quinoa. Solterito, quinoa solterito. Wow. I think it was a month and a half. Oh, okay. You're much younger. Beautiful color quinoa, Peruvian corn, olive. The tea room is open. All the all the oh, ladies would go to the tea room and he'd go up there. All the flavors coming together. Yeah, I love it. It is wonderful. I think there's corn in here. There's cucumber, quinoa. It's dressed so light. Love it. I've never had it, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I can't get it on my little fork. Oh, it's got corn. It's got it's got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. This is a Peruvian dish, lomo saltado. It's made with beef. 
Okay. Would you, what's Loma Sultano? It's um, it's like a saute dish. Steak, uh, flan steak, onions, tomatoes, potatoes. At night, lomo saltado. At night, it's called lomo al jugo, lomo saltado. We have in three, in three ways in here. In breakfast, we serve as Peruvian breakfast. I think you eat it. Um, so one of the entrees they have is lomos, and that's a like a beef stew. And I've, I've got my first piece here with some onions and down the old hats. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're gonna like that. Lomos, remember that. What is mole? Mole is a mix of a lot of condiments. Oh, More no. than 20 oh, condiments. Like so, right? Yes. A lot of people in Mexico use this. This is a traditional dish for weddings, for big parties in Mexico. Enjoy guys. Have this mole you know, is the best mole I've ever had. Is there tamarind in this? What? What? what is it's that? all a tamarind. It's like I know. a lot of ingredients in there. It's amazing. amazing. But, uh, the other entree they brought is chicken mole. Mole? Yeah. Yeah. What are this? Do they know what they're eating? Oh my God! The flavors. Oh, there's so many flavors. <laughs> this is my first mole. And I've waited about a half hour to try it at this point, so. Lindsay, it's good that you had it, you know, after you hit puberty. <laughs> There's a lot of anticipation. A lot of different flavors. All worth it, too. What do you think? I think the camera is very close, but this is really good. Beer fried seafood. Fried? Harvey got his fried food? Beer fried rice. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh my god. god. Yeah, no. This is so delicious. Incredible. I couldn't believe anything could be better than the Malay, but this, this is wonderful. Oh, this is good. And blue cheese. You don't like blue cheese? No. I don't like moldy. I don't like moldy cheese. Everything is so wonderful. What's your favorite? Oh, gosh. I never know now. It would be tough to pick between uh, the Lomo and the mole. 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 Yes, always. You know, it's terrible being me because I'm always trying to beat the last restaurant. <laughs> right. That in a thousand, that's tough. Huh? Particularly since you've been doing this since 1980. Oh, man. Man, that's, that's tough. Oh, you know, I, 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 I lost. Are getting, quality of restaurants is getting better. So, But the mole was by far, to me, the, the extraordinary dish. What was your favorite? Yeah. It was all fabulous. Um, the mole. So, what's your number? Really special. Okay. Uh, what was your favorite? Oh, I'm between the mole and that, that rice. And the mole and the mesh wall at the end. It was, it was, it ended on a It started with a high build to it. Oh, now we got dessert. Now we have flan. Oh, oh man. God. Introducing Carlo. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like the best dessert I'm going to have had of all the dinners you've taken me to. Oh. What is this that you're eating? I'm eating a churro with Bavarian cream stuffed inside. Well, this was a hell of a meal. You saw it. We had the homemade chips and guac, and that was fantastic. Followed by ceviche, and that was really good. And then we had um, what else did we have? We had the rice and the beans. 
Oh, the quinoa salad. I'd never had quinoa before. I always gave it to the parakeet, but that was also good and stayed down, which is always a good sign. Then we had the lomos, which is that steak stew. That was very good. Then we had the seafood rice, the fried rice with seafood in it. Wonderful, but the hit of the night was definitely the chicken mole. That was wonderful. And you saw that wonderful dessert we had too, it was tasty. Watch where we go next month.